Well, we can blow all this up, which will be good. So let's do that with um, with this lad. Okay, now don't blow up our cover. Good, he didn't blow up our cover. So we should be able to finish this guy off now. Uh, ooh, maybe not. He has a lot of health. An awful lot of health. But it'll be a start. It'll be a good start. And the other guy, does the other guy have a belcher? Uh, yeah, he does. Oh, I don't have the hazard spray. I don't want to get plagued up. Hate getting plagued up. Never fun. Okay, so ideally I want to run up to him and start um, stabbing him to death. I'd also love to do that to this guy, but uh, I'm not sure we'll be able to. And maybe. So I could do that. Then teleport strike to attack. Uh, I'll have to attack and then teleport strike to land there. Then I'm going to attack him attack him time. Not sure. Not sure what the plan is here. Uh, I can attack him once here, which will get rid of all of our armor, but do no damage to us. And then I can attack him twice with him to kill him. So let's do it. Okay, we can leave the other two out to take some damage. They'll live. Alright, these two will live. They'll be fine. They're big boys. I don't have to worry about them. But let's get rid of these jerks. Good. That's what I love to see. Right, now let's... I could just Aegis, I suppose. I could Overwatch, but that's not very good. Yeah, I would like to kill this guy. I really would. So, I guess what I could do... I could... Okay, so Teleport does have slightly better range of Teleport Strike. So I can move here, attack him. So I can move here, then attack him. Then Teleport Strike and land here. <laughs> this is wise. It's a lot of willpower. Like, a, just a just a, a extraordinary amount of willpower. And how much damage does this do? Oh, it takes three willpower to use anyway. So, never mind. Could just attack him and then run over here. Doesn't feel great, but he does have... Where is it? He has no auto abilities. I forget this halberd doesn't actually have the... Okay, I'm not about to kill this guy, am I? No, I miscounted my willpower. I think it was one and two, but no, it was three willpower. Uh, could get the crit on him, which could be helpful. Could be helpful. And then I'm stuck here, and he's going to poison me. I think we're in trouble. I think we're in trouble with this guy. What is your will? guide my hand. Stunning him isn't going to work. Um, yeah, I might lower his melee attack. I think that's my best option. Yeah, between this guy and his friend, I think we're in a lot of trouble. I mean, they each do five damage. If I weaken him, he's still going to attack me with this. I'm going to try. My focus fails me. Yeah, we're going to see. Oh, I could just kill him. That works too. But I'd like to get away from him. But I guess I'll just kill him. Purge complete. Oh, he's gonna run away. Oh, good. I'm all sorted. Okay, I was worried for no reason, apparently. Those guys can often just be a bit weird with their actions. I'm very glad this happened to be one of those times. Because, yeah, they could have plagued me. They could have just shot me for a bunch of damage. Like, yeah, I was very worried. <laughs> Genuinely very worried. Okay, cool. Right, you guys, you can finally start coming back to this building. I can't believe how far we've had to stray back towards, like, where we started. Absolutely ridiculous. All because our enemies just didn't seem interested in fighting us at all. It's very weird. Uh, so you can't... We can't fight him from over here. I don't know what the deal is with this guy moving here. I guess... I don't know, because I was over this way? Like, can I even reach him from here? Feels a bit strange to me. Uh, zero damage from here. It's not very much damage. 
Not very much damage at all. So I can attack him once. I have eight you health left. My blade is yours. Yeah, I don't see us killing this guy this turn. Which is fine. What is your will? Absolutely fine. I will hold them here. Let's do that. As you and you can move back here and um, do that, I guess. I fire when ready. All right, come on, enemy. Here we go. Yeah, you've got to come close to do anything to us. But you know what? He's actually a little bit too close. He's going to do a lot of things to us. Please don't plague everybody. Oh, he drained everybody. We just lost willpower. We just lost the thing that's really, really, really good. That's okay. That's okay. All right, go get him. Just keep stabbing. Uh, armor pierce, stun, disable his ranged weapon. Just some light surgery. Uh, he has too much willpower. He has quite a lot. This guy does not so much. This guy has none, so he's going to get a kill. He doesn't have none. He has very little. I'm prone to hyperbole. I use hyperbole all the time. Right, let's move you over here. Let's move you over here too. Yeah, we're just going to book it over to the last, uh, the last bloom now. And we'll teleport right on top of it. And kill it in three seconds flat. Seriously, the last bloom is always just a walk in the park. It's just getting there. It can be such a nuisance. Okay, and you. Let's move. And are oh, they giving more reinforcements? Nope, we'll power down. Bit annoying, but it's fine. It's fine. We should be able to win quite happily with just the basic attacks. In fact, I could just charge Vitold right in here and teleport over this way. I think we'll be fine. Seeking the tainted. Let's go straight in. And here we go. Praise the plague lord. And a bunch of plague monks. And more reinforcements are coming. They're going to try and defend the bloom spawn. Oh no. Okay, not quite get over there. Apparently not. Okay. In that case, I should have probably led to somebody else. Uh, like the Purgator, maybe. Okay, one willpower is plenty. Let's get you over here to get eyes on them. Alright, we'll have a couple of AP. That's fine. Use the Servo Skull to take his four Tentarus seeds. Marvellous stuff. Really nice to be able to get those. Brilliant. And now, Gate of Infinity. And uh, we'll do it right on top of them. Boom. Okay, my apothecary is going to sunder his armor first. And extra damage with the crit. Marvelous. Very good start. Very good start. Wow. Taste my fury! He got an AP back from doing a crit. Oh, that's a shame. He didn't quite get the kill. Uh, should we give it to Varn? Should we give it to Varn? I feel like Varn has been... He's been a good boy, you know? He's been working hard today. Yeah, Varn, you go ahead. has been purged. Return your squad and I shall attend to the remainder below. And that is a victory. I'm very glad. Because honestly, that Benny Hill thing was driving me mad. I can't believe how how evasive the enemy were being. Like, they're, they're the forces of Nurgle. Like, they shouldn't be that unwilling to come to blows. But no, they were just wandering off. It was so it's just so irritating. Um, although, you know, you don't really want to send one person to go deal with the enemy like I did there. And lesson learned. But, uh, God, I just so annoying. So annoying how they kept just going further and further away. Ugh. Anyway, we did it. It's all good. And here's the gang. 
also, we got a bunch of requisition. We have, God, we only have seven max. But we did get 11 and 7 seeds. This is really good news. That is exceptional. That is absolutely like exceptional. And now we can spend all this requisition on whatever the hell we like. So um, there's a fire sworn here, which seems cool. We can do additional damage to organics. We can do eight damage to organics if I have all this upgraded. Flames of Purity does additional damage per two ammo spent. But it only has three ammo, so we're only doing one additional damage. That seems a bit pointless. Um, but I guess good if that's like the last um, attack you're doing. Promethium Spray. Depletes all ammo. Just creates a flame hazard. Doesn't stun, though. But it seems really good. It's a great way to kill organic units. Uh, what the heck is this? Em uh, Empyrean Brain Mine. There's a mine. Deal plus seven stun to the target. Oh, that's awesome. It's a stun mine. So if you place this, someone walks over the mine, they're going to get stunned. And then you can run in, blast a bunch of people, execute the guy that got stunned, everyone gets more AP, and then you can follow up the attack even more. That's, that's really cool. But it's going to be really difficult to actually get that to work. Power in faith has a maximum of 4 armor, an extra 6 HP, can put up focus by 35%, and willpower plus 2. I mean, that's all pretty good. That's all pretty good. Not brilliant, though. Not brilliant. And there's an interceptor. Yeah. So the Argent Mace. I mean, this has got to be better than the standard one, right? This does 5 damage instead of what I think is 4. 4 Strike does extra damage. It's got better crit chance. It can do vulnerability because it's, you know, it's this sort of um, weapon. We can put up to 6 damage base, though, which is pretty impressive. Just 6 damage base. That's pretty cool. And yeah, vulnerability for a long time. Uh, vulnerable means people take more damage, isn't it? That's the one, it's plus two damage. So that's actually pretty great, if we could hit someone with that. That could be pretty cool. But, that isn't as good as the whole parrying, crazy nonsense we've got going on. So I'm not sure if that's actually how we want to play this. I'm not sure if that's something we want to give to our chaplain. Although we might be in a position where we end up sending two chaplains on a single mission soon. So maybe I will get this. Um, and the flamer seems fun. So I think I might take that too. Because we don't have any flamers. I would like to try one out. Although that stun mine is crazy. That's such a unique thing. I don't know if we'll ever be able to pull this off. But I want to bring it just in case. So yeah, we're going with the thing that I don't know if we're going to bother equipping. And also this mine that I don't know if we're ever going to get to work. But it's a let's play. And why, why would I just go with the boring stuff? No, we're going to go with the unique weird nonsense we found. So yeah, not bad. Uh, he's going to be injured for 16 days though, which is a bit of a pity. But we've got a bunch of level ups. So, what's your thing? I can't even remember. Uh, we can make this cost no AP, so we can literally just give people willpower. Which is really nice. I like that. Um, all this stuff. Um, chance to gain willpower after doing any of the standard things. Walk, charge, cybolt, or force strike. Pretty good odds. We can put up to 50% chance to trigger, which is pretty good. We can also put focus up for him, generally, which is nice. Uh, this stuff down here. Uh, we can give... We can give our squad better... Oh my god, we have to go down this way to do that. Oh, well, that's, that's very annoying. That's a real pity. We have to go down this way if we want that. Extra armor permanently sounds good. Litany of Hate, when executing a target, gain additional AP. That'll be great if we were able to make that mine work. And I guess we could make the mine work quite well if we put it on a chaplain, because we can taunt an enemy, put a mine on the ground, and they'll run over the mine. So that's quite good. The ability to give people willpower is very nice, though, but that's probably something we could do uh, we could make use of this between uh, combats. 
So actually the AP cost is kind of neither here nor there. So we're going to get rid of that. And I think we're going to go for the Litany of Hate. I think. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, each knight gains more crit damage. That's pretty cool. I do like these litanies. I don't know how they work. At all. I don't know if you just have to use it and then it lasts until the end of combat or something. I don't know. Not a clue. But that's something we should find out. So okay, we're going to get that stuff. We're going to get a litany so I can figure out what the heck it's supposed to do. So there we go. Iolanthus has a litany. Whatever that means. So this guy. Support, fire, or are we going to go down here for Psychic Onslaught doing more damage so we can just make Psychic Onslaught ridiculous. That sounds like fun, doesn't it? Because I like Psychic Onslaught. It's good. Uh, extra crit damage is nice as well, though. We did this for the other guy. But, yeah, let's do Psychic Onslaught. Being, um, absurd. Oh, and he didn't have the auto-reload yet. So there we go, we'll give him that. That's super useful. And then we'll have to do these two. So Psychic Onslaught has better air... Ooh, the air is good, though. I think that's better than Rapid Reload. Just because we can hit more enemies. I really like that. Let's do that. And for the Dolph Van, let's go with... Come on, what's his deal? So you're an Interceptor. Uh, extra range on the teleport's nice. Teleport boost. Chance to get AP when he teleports. Can't go wrong. Can't go wrong with that. And we give him support fire as well. We're going to make this guy a lot like the other guy, it seems. Which is sort of a pity. Uh, way more crit chances if we go up here, which is nice. I like all that. This is all pretty good. And a chance to get more AP on a melee attack is nice too. So a chance to get, uh, well, on a crit, chance to get uh, AP. So there's a chance to get AP back when you teleport. And then we can do a crit and get some AP back. So we could we can attack for a long time if we get all this stuff. But teleporting a long distance is very nice. You know what? We're going to try and get up here quicker. So more crit damage for Hammer Hand sounds great. Uh, the bleed sounds good too, actually. This is all good. We'll get all that. That'll do. Moving on. Do we have enough servitors to build literally anything? I mean, it's got an exclamation mark to sort of say, hey, hey, you, need, you haven't got anything building. But it doesn't... Oh, we can actually build this. Should I build this just because we can? Is it is it worthwhile? We haven't lost anyone yet, but what if we did? I'm not sure. We'll, we'll be able to intern them. We'll be able to intern our fallen brothers and they, until they can be put to more productive use. I don't know what that means. So I think I'm going to do it. Because again, I, I kind of want to pick up all the, the nonsense this game has. Um, sort of uh, hidden behind um, vague promises. Like uh, the status chamber will allow them to be interned. I mean, what, what does that mean? I don't know, but I think we should find out. So, without a functional pre uh, preservation facility, we have no choice but to harvest the gene seed of any knights whose injuries surpass the limits of the Apothecarion. The stasis chamber will allow them to be interned until we can put them to more productive use. So we'll see what that does. We may never use it, because we may never lose a single soldier, but we will soon find out. Also, I think we should fight that ship. Although... We may take some more damage, and then we have no servitors left, but uh, I think we need to destroy this before it spreads um, more evil. Can't have it spreading evil. Okay, and off we go. Stasis chamber will be done soon. Oh, intervention required. What's going on? Prognosticars report emergence of multiple stellar warp surges across the sector. Coordinates have been updated on the star map. Current data is insufficient to perform a proper analysis. Warp storms of this magnitude are not unprecedented. But the evolving bloom phenomenon is 77.9% likely to be a significant contributing factor. Oh, good. Is there another warp storm over there? Oh, is that it? Okay, god, that's almost at five as well. And that one. Yeah, I think the ship might be spreading it. I think we do actually need to go head to head with the ships from time to time. Because I think they are making this worse. So, yeah, let's go get them. Oh no! That cheeky little sod! 
Okay, these warp storms appearing here is, um... It's rotten. This is very rotten. I hate it. Uh, getting here to deal with those issues is going to be a big, a big issue. So we got the stasis chamber. Yay. <laughs> now what? We have two ser- We actually gained two servitors while we were waiting. So, I could have put that to better use. Uh, let's go fight this guy. Alright, come here, you. More missions. One there, one there, and one there. Okay, well that one we're not going to be able to reach very easily. That one we can reach a bit better. That one, not a chance in hell. Okay. So, that one is so... We are so down to the wire collecting that one. Oh, it's going to get two additional corruption if we don't do it. He wants us to kill enemy with grenades this time. That's been a while since we've done that. Also, uh, requisition. Eh. This one. Grimoires. Fast attack. Oh, and a new side cannon. We haven't found any upgraded side cannons yet. That's brilliant. We're doing this one. This is the one we're doing. Kill nine enemies with ranged weapons? Easy. Yeah, that's the one we're doing. So we're going to try and do this one. I'm going to have to obviously go around again. Uh... Alright, if I go there, we can have some time. I think I think I can go here and then come back around, I think. But I'm almost there, so there we go. There we go. Death Guard encountered. Hello, Death Guard. Alert. Enemy ship has manifested short-range tendril mutations. Contact in three, two, one. Impact. Our void shields have completely disintegrated. Alert! Tendril weapons have latched to the Apothecarium. Critical breach imminent. Throne. We must act now, Commander. Those tentacles are mutations derived by the Bloom. I hate to suggest this, but if we vent some of our seeds into space, they may be distracted by their psychic resonance. Okay, that's interesting. So we'll lose four seeds. Four seeds. That should be a great risk. Open fire shouldn't be at risk. Gun batteries only level two. Or we could throw some seeds away and the ship may be at risk. Which is the same as open fire, may be at risk. But I feel like the cost of seeds means we'll be at less risk because we've spent something. Um, we have quite a lot of seeds. Let's do the four seeds. Hopefully it'll just be the green ones. We, we won't have to care. As you say. Four seeds destroyed. We destroyed the cruiser. The, Inquis uh, the Inquisitor's ploy is successful. The tendrils are drawn to the Bloom Seeds, allowing the Edict to open fire and destroy the plague ship before it can deal any damage. Brilliant. Okay, love that. Big fan. <laughs> Are you joking? <laughs> There's another one right there. But we need to go there. I can't afford to go around. Okay, I guess we're fighting another ship immediately. I mean, we got out of the last one real, you know, scot-free, so that's great. He has returned from his solitary mission with glorious results. It seems there was a plague surgeon developing a novel method of spore dispersal. Our brother eliminated his cult before sending his soul to eternal damnation. I can I see the experience was bracing. He has returned stronger and wiser than before. He did it. I don't know what Quartermaster is, though. It's done. I've attuned the Codex Toxicus to the strain. I can feel the Reaper's vile presence within. For any other citizen of the Imperium, this act would bring a death sentence. Yet you- Yet I what? Skirt heresy. Do you think I enjoy the strain this task requires? This is my duty, Purifier. When this Reaper manifests, I trust you will do yours. Your knights must be ready, Commander. The time has come. Well, she doesn't look so well. Uh, Reaper located. Uh, Aja the Benevolent. I have attuned the Codex, and it hums with a foul resonance to the Poxa strain, though it could hear- uh, though it- 
through it, rather, I can hear the whispers of a thousand voices trickling through the pardon me, through the void, all murmuring one name, Aegir. Aegir, the benevolent. May the Emperor gird the heart of the faithful to spurn that monstrosity's gifts until we can purge him from the materium. New mission, Hunt Reaper. Uh, there he is. There's the little fella. So, subdue Aegir. We'll get a bunch of requisition. We'll lower corruption a ton in uh, charity. Lovely. And some options for things. We can get a rank 7 librarian. That's very cool. Extreme danger. Cool. <laughs> we have located Aegir the Benevolent here, dubbed the Benevolent Uncle. For the wide range of afflictions he spreads, as I said, he travels with a host of cherished nephews. Fun. Fun on the bun. Ugh, my word. Alright, well, we've got to deal with this guy first, and this mission as well. Death Guard encountered. Alert. Small scale projectiles launching from the enemy vessel. Torpedoes? Negative. Analysis patterns reveal satellite deployment. Vox transmissions detected. What are they casting? Commander, this could be the Dark Tongue. Order your crew to put on their helmets and. Update. Multiple crew stations unresponsive. It's a distraction. The enemy ship's maneuvering to attack. Well, this isn't great. We don't have a librarian, sadly. So, open fire. Fire on the Voxcasters or retreat. Open fire, I guess? I think we're going to lose a hull integrity for this. Fire. Yeah, one hull integrity. We lost... Wait, what? Plus zero servitors. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, we got requisition. So, uh, gun battery level two. You destroy the ship quickly. How the Vox Gauss's dark murmuring corrupt several members of the crew. We must be purged once the battle is done. Uh, <laughs> okay. Apparently not. But hey, we got some requisition. The hull is getting a little injured, but but it, it's fine. We'll make it work. Also, I did miss out a couple days of, uh, of this. Oh, interesting. So the codex becomes attuned to a particular boss, then we have to go and fight the boss before we can attune the, uh, the the Codex Toxicus to a different one. That's really clever. That's a nice way to do it. That's a nice way to do it. It also means you have time to do like other researches between, which I think is good. So I want to get to heal six, I think. Sorry, uh, heal two. All knights heal six. And then we get this one for additional strategy use. And that's additional strategy use as well. Uh, all visible enemies, plus three stun. That's quite nice. Advanced focus, plus one stratagem slot. That's a lot. Oh, that's stratagem use, so we can use them additional times. That's really cool. And that's the additional slot. Um, so yeah, let's make our way down here. So, let's do the purple one. That'll do. 22 days. Quite a while, but we'll get there. And we have um, three servitors, which is Bad. Okay, let's go. Yeah, things are getting a little tense. Our ship is not faring so well at the moment. Yeah, it's looking a little damaged, huh? Sure is. So, uh, <laughs> there's a bunch of pretty, pretty tough enemies here. Kill nine enemies with ranged weapons, that's fine. I'm sure we can handle that. Uh, there's a full sword, there's the side cannon. Yeah, this should be great. Also, some more power armor. Oh, that's Terminator armor. Never mind. I want some more power armor. I really do. I feel like we've got plenty of Terminator armor. But we don't have much in the way of decent power armor. But anyway, this should be quite straightforward. So there's some Tentara stuff here. Um, so that's fine. HP bonuses for enemies and mutations and bloom spawn with the warp surges. There's going to be Plague Champions, Apostate Preachers, and Blightborn Terminators. So some pretty good stuff. Pretty good stuff. And yeah, I'm going to go with the ranged weapon kills. We're going to go with that. Uh, our chaplain is going to have some great Overwatch kills. It's going to be fantastic. Just you wait. And uh, yeah, I mean, we still have a Purgator. I might swap out the Apothecary. Or the Interceptor for another Purgator. Uh, he's just got the normal Storm Bolter. We'll swap you out. Or Cadillac. Cadillac's back. Awesome. It's good to see. 
Uh, right, so, yeah, both with side cannons. Hmm. Is that the way we want to play this? I forget, what's your thing? Uh, so, you've got good support fire. With the silencer. Which is nice. Um. I feel like Psychic Onslaught should be improved for him as well. Uh, this stuff's quite good. Range attack crits get, get us AP back. That's very nice with Astral Aim. Very nice with Astral Aim. Can mean you're just spending willpower. And that's it. So it's like a free attack that you can use to blow off a body part. That's very good. But yeah, we'll keep him with the side cannon. Yeah, we'll keep... Well, hmm, I don't know. I kind of want to give him the uh, silencer, but we can't give him the good one. With the extra crit chance. See, this isn't even that good a weapon. We really do need some much better heavy ranged weapons. Because we are not getting many ranged weapons. We really aren't. I keep them both with these. It'll be fine. I think that'll do. So yeah, I think this is what we're going with. So, stratagems. Uh, we have a bunch of uh, stuff in stratagems here. So we have the extra AP, the heal, and the teleport. I think we'll be fine. Nine kills with ranged weapons is going to be a little tough, but with two purgators, I'm pretty sure we should be able to handle it quite easily. One thing I do need to do, though, one thing I do need to do uh, is change this up a bit. So let's change the Medicaid servo skull for an extractor one. Because I love the extra crit damage from crits. That's really good. Oh, that is for melee attacks, which isn't perfect, but still, with the great armor break and all the additional crit damage and stuff, yeah, it's, it's very cool. I really like this guy. Absolute lunatic, AJ Han. So, I think that's where we're going to end it then. So, guys, if you enjoyed this, comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Toodaloo.